Well, if you're ever stuck in ice or your vehicle goes through the water, you'd of course want to know someone that is helping you knows what they're doing. Haiti Clotter shows us how different police and fire departments took a dive in ice rescue training. Breaking through the ice can be a scary and serious situation. That is why for 16 years, the winter ice rescue training exercise has been held to keep local agencies brushed up on their skills. Since 2008, courses for cold water technician certification have also been offered. This year we have approximately 40 to 50. Uh, 22 of those folks are being certified for the first time. And a lot of the people that come back are uh, doing a recertification, which is every two years for the training. The training was put on by the Cass Lake Sheriff's Office and Cass Lake Fire Department. There was a cold water dive team that conducted an emergency simulation, a canine demonstration, and a self-rescue mission. The training helps the departments be prepared for any emergencies on the ice. For example, if they have to recover a body. The first part was trying to get yourself out of the water without using ice picks. Then it was time to try to rescue someone stuck in the water. You start off by crawling into the water, then state your name and what department you're from, and if the person you're rescuing can respond, that shows they're not hyperthermic. You're still in the water? What? Each department had their own equipment, including cold water rescue suits. These rubber suits help keep you warm and keep water from coming in. Lake of the Woods County brought their airboat and had it on display. It helps when trying to rescue drowning victims. Had a few in the past year that we've already had to use our airboat. We've only had it a couple years and we've used it several times already. The skills learned will be applied once participants get back to their departments. Well, we'll take this back and do some training right away out on the ice and get everybody in our suits. It's a good learning thing and everybody can, everybody should know how to do it. In Cass Lake, Haiti Clutter, Lake News. And there was also a classroom portion completed as part of the training and it was all done at no cost to the participants. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.